This Pencilmation episode isn't as innocent as you thought as Ross Bollinger had a weirder meaning behind it, and today, we're going to share that meaning with you guys, and Chase is a professional at this stuff which is why I featured him in this video. Yep. Hello everyone. My name is Chase. I've seen a lot of sissy stuff and I cover it on my channel. And today's video is about two kids who turn into furries. We want to talk about the ending as it has a deep and weird meaning behind it. Anyways, Tobias gets the floor. The episode starts with the two walking. The boy gets turned into a cat and the girl gets turned into a dog. They then get their pet attributes that make them a furry. Also, this reminds me of the Totally Spies episode where Chloe gets dog attributes. Which is what this Pencilmation episode reminds me of. The two then run after each other with the girl biting the boy in the ass. Oh, you nasty ass bastard! The two then crash and the girl started licking the boy. When they turned back into humans, they were still licking each other. The girl loved the boy and was kissing him but in the dog way. This means that the boy was feeling extremely horny around the girl. This also means that the girl is sexually attracted to the boy. Meaning that they are in a relationship with one of them being underage. Unless you are linking up with these young people as they are your friends, you are a pedo. And her repeatedly licking the boy means she really loves him. So we just found out that Ross made two kids date each other by turning them into pets. As you can see, Ross likes kittens because the girl was nice to the boy in the end. Although it was a slobbery outcome, it's nice to see that they're friends that are dating. Or at least that's what some people say. Here are people's thoughts on this. To answer your question, I don't know. I didn't even think about that when watching the episode. Pause! Bro stop with the furry jokes because that was way too gay. It is cute. I wonder if Pencilmit licks her back off screen. Well they shouldn't fuck each other as children. That's just weird. Wait until you're in your teenage years. That way you can legally love each other. This episode also reminds me of incest in which I've talked about in this episode. You can watch that if you want to. I mean, it would be weird to see a human pant, lick someone or get down on all fours. Only reason why someone would be doing any of those three things would be that they're a furry. Actually, if you get dog attributes, that means you also lick here. Yeah, not the best idea. We already mentioned that in this video. That was the same thought Tobias had. Maybe best not to look at that because Pinsilmas' tongue could go in a place that the creators can't show. Either that or they're doing something R-rated. That's way too nasty. Or maybe they were smashing each other off screen. Either way it's something Ross won't show. That actually makes sense because I've seen cats and dogs who were best friends. So it could be possible that they got over their hatred for each other and became friends. And Pinsilmas could have been licking Pencilmet because she knew she loved him and couldn't express it in dialogue form. So she started licking him to get the message across. That makes more sense now after watching the episode. We already talked about this too. But him setting them up as these animals just so they can love each other? That's a weird premise for the episode. Are you sure you haven't been watching too much National Geographic? So it ends up that some people think that this episode was cute and it had meaning and most people question the episode and its weirdness. I mean, this might be the sissiest episode in the whole series. But what do you think? Was the episode good or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.